Pleasantly clear evening, conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods, it surely must be. The stands here, the Kurva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight. All in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I'm going to go for a box-to-box -box man, Sami Kadira, A tireless worker who seems equally happy whether breaking up opposition attacks or, or triggering attacks for his own team. He's honest, he's reliable and he's always willing. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. So it's away we go then. Quadrado. Iguain, this could spell and the finish! Superb goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Juventus are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Juventus go ahead, one goal to the good. Kadira. Quadrado. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Has he found his man? Alexandro does well there. Alert. Kadira. Christian Zapata drives it towards the front. He's got options out wide. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. And here's Schoener. Schoener plays it in. That intervention was very necessary. Danger averted for now. Benucci. Juventus scored early, of course. And the score is 1-0. Pandev. Chance to break. Back to the keeper and try something new. Now it's Iguain. What a ball this is to... It's Iguain! Schoener drives it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Forward it goes. Bonucci gets into the right position to intercept. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. Quadrado. 
And here's Katira. Now it's Ramsey. Radovanovic, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Christian Zapata. Well, that's where he wants it. And here's Schoener. Schoener spreads it towards the left. Kadira goes looking. And it's Ramsey. Has he picked him out? No, he didn't quite meet it right. And it's the goalkeepers to play. Get it forward quickly, and the through ball is intercepted. De Ligt was not to be moved. Quadrado battles to win it back. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And they've reached half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Juventus head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. And the shot! He's got rid of that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Pjanic gets it back. Rabio hoists it forward. He came in hard, very hard. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. It's a good foot in there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Quadrado gets his final warning. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Has a go! Oh! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Quadrado. Ramsey. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Ramsey. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. The message is clear. Not Cristiano Ronaldo! Beautifully dispatched, there was no reaching that. Yeah, it tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased the way to catch the inside of the post. Genoa making another change here. <laughs> Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Juventus clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their... Genoa have a free kick. It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth a go. Sapanov. Radovanovic.
Gorgeous control there. Tries the cross. It's a brilliant interception. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's picked him out. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now it's Pandev. It's Pandev! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Gets up to head it! Look like 3 0 for sure. Douglas Costa just got a little carried away with himself there. He knew he could have clinched it. Scherner. Well read, he sorted that out. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Radovanovic. Douglas Costa is the guilty party there. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. Oh, great ball! Schoener. Pandev gets it, and now what? Pandev! It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. The licks. Good idea, just poorly executed. Now it's Schoener. Rabio. Cristiano Ronaldo. Brings it forward. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Four extra minutes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Plays it out to the flank. Genoa with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Rabio is holding his leg there, a worrying sign. Yeah, his pain is now pretty obvious, Peter. He's not the type who pulls up unless something's hurting. He's better continue, it seems, albeit a little gingerly. Douglas Costa. And that is that. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Juventus simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all...